Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to show you uh, some of the capabilities using uh, the IQ Feed Developer API for um, having using IQ Feed as your source for market data. Obviously, everything's in real time. I have my IQ Feed active, and I'm going to show you some basic stuff. Now, if you sign up for the API uh, access, it's very worthwhile. Um, reason being, Here's what you get. You get simple documentation, Java, Visual Basic, Visual C Sharp, and then Visual C++. Obviously, I'm going to be focusing on the C++ side of things. From my understanding, I've gone through the um, both the C Sharp and the C++ examples. The only thing that uh, the C Sharp will give you is market depth uh, versus uh, the, the Visual C++. Everything else is the same. Um, as you can see, there's no mar uh, market depth in here under the VC++. So I'm not going to worry about that too much because I'm just going to be focusing on C++ just due to the fact that it, 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 any any person you talk to, uh, C++ is still the fastest way to go for any language um, uh, as far as I'm concerned and probably the rest of the, the smart industry people would think as well. Um, so that's what we focus on. but Obviously, because it's Visual C++ doesn't mean it's going to port over to Linux or Unix. So be aware that uh, these examples are Windows specific. So let me uh, go through everything. Um, obviously, there is a way to launch the feed for IQ feed, but it's already active. Um, so I, I'll just show you some of the basic applications that you get. Now, for everyone, you have a different way to connect through is through a COM or a socket. Uh, I'm going to do the socket. It's easier to work with, easier to debug. Uh, and that sort of thing. So these are already been built through my Visual C, uh, my Visual Studio, um, and uh, I've just pre-built them just for demoing purposes today. So right now we are connected into the um, IQ feed. I'm going to show you. I'm going to connect and watch Apple. Okay, so there you go. This all this each one of these is tick data. Now. For my system, it's going to be no different. Uh, this data is going to be fed into my uh, algorithm, my model, and the key here is, as you can tell, because it's probably one of the f most liquid uh, equities out there. Each tick, you want your algorithm to be able to to catch, to, to be able to keep up to date with each of these ticks. As you can see, it's pretty well hard to do, um, but um, I do have access to. Um, the uh, basic forex as well. The, the idea is pretty well the same, um, but uh, this is just an application. It's working. Uh, let me show you the uh, source code. Um, voila! Here you go. It's a VCC project right here, uh, and um, here's the file. Uh, I'm not going to get. I'm not going to show you that. Uh, I don't think. Uh, uh, IQ feed the, the people behind IQ feed would be uh, appreciative of that. But before I signed up to the API, I was like, really, like, what, what do you get for 300 bucks when you register? This is what you get. Um, so these are examples. I'm just going to show you. It's very worth the money if you're really serious about building your own platform and needing a really good uh, data provider. At the same time, it's something that's really affordable. This is the best way to go. I've researched everybody. The only real ones that are worth looking at. Uh, our IQ feed and uh, eSignal. Uh, eSignals, for my research, is double um, the the uh, price of what IQ feed gives you. At the same time, you're probably going to get half the service. The service at IQ feed is pretty good. Um, not only that, uh, a lot of people say, "Well, I already have a interactive brokers account. Why wouldn't I not use the data?" Uh, the reason you don't use interactive brokers data is quite simple. They just aggregate the data. Um, like in this little application. I just showed you um, this guy right here. You're getting real time. Uh, you're getting real time uh, data, uh, and the inter with interactive brokers is not quite exactly that, um, but it, uh, that's all good. And now I just got an email uh, about the new IQ feed uh, five, which seems to be like millisecond. It's it's unbelievable. So uh, I'm not sure on the services yet with that, but. Um, uh, that really, really improves things. It's amazing. Okay, so this is level one socket. There is a level two um, as well. Um, and I believe that's the market depth, but I'm not subscribed to it. Um, but IQ feed does provide that kind of data. Obviously, you have to pay more for it. Right now, I'm just focused on just closing price, and that's all I really care about. That's where I measure off of for all my algorithms. But um, 
<clears throat> yes, there are some of those that are uh, Mr. Sentiment type of analysis. That's all cool. Um, but uh, the, I, the IQ feed does have a new source, which is part of the basic subscription. This is the demo um, new socket uh, source uh, application you get. So obviously you've parsed through your uh, XML here. Um, so I'm just going to randomly pick off one of these guys. Uh, submit requests. So here's some of the headlines lately. Um, this one I, I felt is now legal in Azerbaijan to shoot down civilian aircraft. I thought that was kind of funny. Ah. But uh, you, you obviously if you are interested in doing sentiment type of analysis with your trading platform you could do it through this. Uh, down the road I see myself uh, using a different methodology using Twitter. Very popular but only using four accounts that I, I would uh, 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 have trust with and one of them is obviously being seek al seeking alpha.com as a source and I only use them because I write for them and they're very difficult to get a, 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 a uh, an article approved on them so I know that they can be trusted because they're very difficult to uh, to get uh, approved with articles so they're a reliable source so that that kind of platform I'll be building down the line but um, for now, you know, anybody that wants to do sentiment analysis on news can do it through this means with IQ feed. And obviously you can use this app to uh, use that as an example to develop your, uh, your, your algorithms based off of this or as a trigger or whatever. All right, so let's go on to our next example. Um, we have option chain. Now this, this if, if you're, I, I hate to say it, but there's a lot of people out there always trying to be a cheap ass and trying to do everything the free way through uh, something like Yahoo uh, Finance, fine. Uh, building an option chain in Yahoo Finance, yes, it can be done through a VB um, application I've seen a few years ago. Uh, option chains are just a bitch to deal with, um, but you can deal with it nice and easy through uh, IQ feed, through this application, so let's take a look at it. Um, now, the funny thing is, uh, I'm not much of a, a uh, have preference for, um, for, uh, for, um, for uh, options. But uh, when I look at it, it's kind of interesting that uh, this might be an interesting type of uh, market uh, asset to to trade. Um, but nonetheless, if if I do decide to to, to to use option chains, this is a good way. Obviously, I've just loaded up Yahoo criteria I'm choosing my equity options you can choose your dates on your ex expiry um, blah 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 look it up here's your chain that's simple and again you get a source code with these examples pretty cool eh um so let's do a look symbol look up through the socket uh, so we'll do I don't know my favorite Apple let's run that puppy now, obviously, you can look up symbol, uh, industry codes, and whatever. Um, there you go. These are the latest uh, that you want for uh, Apple. All, so this is a good way to build a time series, this example, and then use the other application. I just showed you uh, this one to watch it, and then you can use this. Uh, come on, buddy. This, this app here, which is going bonkers in the background, you can use that as a trigger to uh, watch on your models. Uh, you'll see that if you're a member. Um, so nonetheless, uh, you got symbol lookup. Let's see what kind of goody uh, source code examples we have. Um, let's see, symbol lookup system info. I'm not going to get into that. I'll probably reveal all my secretive uh, info. OK, obviously, I didn't check this one out for you. This is the historical. Now, for those that are not familiar with um, with uh, IQ feed, this can go back all the way to nine, nine, nine I think eight, seven or eight years. Um, right now, I'm just going to grab the tick data points. Uh, obviously, you can go on whatever you want. I mean, interval days, I, it's just mind boggling. But in this case, I just want tick. Okay. So let's say I want a thousand data points. Uh, yeah, we want tick. Uh, and there you go. See how fast it retrieves it. And you could you could you could build huge amounts of uh, historical 
data off this for back testing. It's just uh, obscene. And again, this is why, honestly, I really, really love IQ Feed. I, I don't work for them. I have no interest in, well, I do have an interest in their well-being, but to be honest, their, what they've provided here is just unbelievable. Um, I really like it, uh, and uh, this, this helps me catapult uh, my development into my trading models with Simulink. Um, I'm sure that you know. So now I have to tie up these applications with my um, Simulink models and then have them talk and then do all kinds of crazy stuff and at the other end spit out trading decisions so that it can trade off of through my, um, my uh, interactive brokers account through the um, TWS. Uh, trade worker station um, so that's the next step so once everything's all tied together we have ourselves a primitive trading platform and that's the exciting part so uh, let me get to it and I just want to show you all the different examples that are available through the development um, examples you get with the IQ feed API really good stuff worth the money um, and uh, if you're a cheap ass and you want to blow your brains out and wasting your time go for it but uh, I don't recommend it all right later